at Ikea. We have one pretty close to our house here in Salt Lake City, Utah, and I'm excited to share with you my favorite things I get here. Let's look for some new products, and I'll tell you some things that I would have worn getting here. Let's go. kitchen and home goods are in the marketplace so let's go directly there. The first thing that caught my eye were these vegetable slices so it's orange and green and you can add your vegetables in there you can spiralize them it looks like and cut them into little sheets or zoodles so it's kind of an interesting little new product. Next you know how much I love an egg cutter this one is on sale $2.99 and the only thing I'm concerned about is this metal hinge here. I feel like if you wanted to wash this, it might get a little rusty depending on, you know, how well you can clean this. It's a little flimsy feeling, but for $2.99, it might be worth it. The next product are these new ice cream scoops. I've not seen these before. I was a little bit concerned when I thought that maybe they were like wooden handled, but they say that they are plastic and stainless steel. They feel very heavy, heavy duty, doesn't feel like it's gonna break. I do worry that it would break right here at this connection part, but for $3.99, maybe it's good quality. If you don't have a salad spinner, this is $7.99. I like using salad spinners for obviously spinning lettuce, greens, vegetables. Also, it's really nice for when you're doing the berry vinegar hack because the strainer fits directly into the bowl. It's a cute design. It's kind of small, but might be good for one or two people. These soccer fit buckets are right next to those ones. They're much softer, flimsier plastic, and they're a lot smaller too, but they have kind of that angled front bin. I don't know what I'd exactly put use these, but for smaller spaces, that might be a good storage option. As is the case with the cookware, kind of feel the same way about their bakeware. I think anything from Ikea is generally a little bit thinner. However, I really like their glassware. Like, this is really cute. This is a serving bowl. Let's see, though, if it can go in the oven. Oh, yeah. See, that's really nice when you can put things from the oven to the table. That's really pretty. These are new. These are far clar. I should just not even try. These are little bowls. They're oven safe. They have this little lid, which I think is really cute. I was thinking maybe that would be cute with like a French onion soup to serve something in, keep it warm. And I love that matte green color. That's really pretty. Oh, and here they are in pink beige. Yeah, this is really cute. Maybe we could like put candy in it. You can put condiments, dip, sauces. That's really cute. I do think anything glass from Ikea actually is pretty good. This tart dish is so cute and it is not expensive at all. It's $10 for that tart plate. These are really cute. You know, if you want to send, you know, a gift to someone and that would be really cute. A bowl scraper. Okay, I would not buy this just because, look, this is just more spots for bacteria and food to hide in. This is not gonna scrape anything. <laughs> you need a way better scraper than that. So I definitely would not buy that. Okay, now moving on to these measuring cups. So these are the IKEA measuring cups. There's $9 for four, one, two, three, four measuring cups. I've gotta say they just already look used. The metal's very thin, so I feel like if you drop this, it's going to get damaged, dented, or like rust. Same with these. These are the measuring spoons. Can you just see how thin the metal is? That's gonna bend like instantly. I would not buy these. I really love using a bench scraper. This is advertised as a dough cutter, but I recommend finding one that is one piece. So do you see how this one, it's the sheet of metal lodged in this plastic piece and you can see there's already space there. As soon as you start putting pressure on that, moving it around, that's going to break instantly. And that's more opportunity for bacteria to grow in there. So try and avoid products like that. Just don't buy anything with a blade from Ikea. I really like the cutting boards actually here at Ikea and I have this large one back here. This is the one that I have behind my, my cooktop. It's definitely more expensive than what I bought a couple years ago. But they have really like pretty different designs and they're really good for decoration. 
linens, towels, oven mitts, pretty much anything like cloth-like. I don't recommend buying an Ikea. It's very thin and not awesome quality. These spice mills are really cute. I like this kind of tinted glass. It is made of plastic on the top, which is not my favorite, but I think they're really pretty. Clear glass jars. These would be great for sourdough start. Any dried good in your pantry or anything you want to display on the counter. These are really pretty and good size for a really good price. This is only $8.61 ounces. More glassware. Look how good of a size this is. This would be really cute to fill up with candy, decorations. Really cute. I really like this matte green color. This is really pretty have these glasses. These are really great. I like how they're flat bottom so when you wash them in the dishwasher they don't pool water like, on the bottoms. And they're flat sided. I really like these. These little food containers are really pretty. They've got this really aesthetic wooden lid. However, I don't like putting anything that's kind of wooden in the dishwasher which you know you just shouldn't do. And no matter how pretty it is it's just not practical for me so we'll skip on that one. This is something I have not seen yet before. This is really pretty. It's, I'm not going to attempt to say that, but look how pretty this is. It is this little cup. It's got a lid. That would be really cute for butter, jam, anything to display. I'm actually going to get this because I had something that looks just like this and it just broke last week. And I use it in a lot of my photo shoots, so that's really pretty. They also have a matching bowl, which I think is really cute. Maybe it's just like the Japanese in me, but this is so cute. I love anything that has little compartments. My kids would love these. This is like a grown up version of their like annoying little kid plates. I actually think I'm gonna get a couple of these because my kids love to dip things, have little different portions on their plates. And that would be really cute for serving as well. Okay, I grabbed more of these compartment plates because I thought they would be perfect for sushi night. Oh, those would be so cute. Okay, but look how cute these ones are next to it. These are just the most adorable bowls. They have a really cute, pretty design on them. Good size. And I think that's really pretty. It's a really good price too. The really cool thing about Ikea is look how many choices you have. So many colors. If you are doing a dinner party, say like a themed Valentine's party, you can get some of these cute pink plates. You can get blue ones, green ones, and have a themed dinner and it would be not too big of an expense. Oh, those pink plates are so cute. These bowls and plates come in a four pack. So there's the bowls and these are the plates. And look at the different designs. These are really, really pretty. I have had these on my to buy list for a long time and look how pretty these are. These would be so beautiful for a dinner party to even just serve food in. Unfortunately, they're sold out and have been for a long time. So if you find them close to you, definitely get them. These are so pretty. I have a couple things like this from Ikea and I think they're really cute, a good value. How pretty that one is. You can even put you know, flowers in that. That would be really pretty. I really like all of the glassware here as well. I don't drink, but I think that they're really pretty for serving things, making mocktails. I really like everything here. And look what I found over here. There's the matching cups. These are like a good size. This is like a Japanese tea, tea mug. So cute. And they come in blue. I don't need these. I don't need these. I don't need these. But I really want them. I have not seen these before. Look how cute these coasters are. They come in different designs. And they have these ones that look a little bit like wagon wheels. They're coasters. However, I'm going to get a couple of these to put in my office on my accent wall because I have a couple spots where I need to fill in with some smaller decorations. So cute. So if you like basket walls like I have in my house, these are actually a really good option to use because they're different textures, different sizes, they lay flat on the wall. These are actually just placemats, but these are a good value if you know how much baskets cost. 
I love all these little cups and kind of the nice thing about Ikea is you don't have to feel too bad if something you know happens to break because everything's pretty inexpensive. This is such a cute glass. This would be cute to put like sorbet in, a dessert, even like jello. You can make big, really pretty festive jello cups. Ooh, these would be cute for jello. These would be way cute for custard, for dessert, a little trifle. There's so many ways to use cups, which is why I really like how fancy these are and they're not too expensive. I'm just letting you know now, don't, just don't. These are not great quality. Unless you're putting like stuff from your garage in them or you're just using them as single use, which I don't recommend, I don't recommend these basket and this like light natural wood is a very in right now. Nike has a ton of these wood accents. These are really really pretty to use in decoration. Put a couple things in and a lot of variety. I actually have this in a really light mint blue color and it's really pretty. They now sell lids for them which I think are really cute and nice. I really like these, however, if you're looking for storage containers, I definitely don't recommend these. These are the Samla boxes. They're actually not even good price, all 50 for these, because I bought a bunch of these and I bought the lids. And the thing about the lids is they don't snap on, so they go on, but there's nothing that really keeps them on, so the lids always fly off. So, yeah. Not a great storage option in my opinion. Okay, I think that's all I have time for today. I made it over to lighting. I got a little lost because that's like the objective, right? Of IKEA is to get you lost in here. Okay, I'm done at IKEA. I got a couple things. I got that really cute little glass with the really pretty lid. I got these coasters that I'm going to put up on my office wall as decorations. And then I got these really cute large plates with compartments. I'm just gonna get rid of like all my kids like big plastic compartment plates and just use these ones. They're way nicer and they can go in the dishwasher. I'm just a lot, I don't know, I like them a lot better. So anyway, if you like this video, make sure you watch this one next. Let me know if you want me to come back to Ikea. There's so much to see here. There's always new products, which is really fun. And we'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye.